What's going on? My name is Frank. Welcome back to YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be re live reacting to the Xbox Game Showcase. Um, I was going to stream the showcase, but I'm currently not feeling well. I've been sneezing a lot, coughing a lot. Actually, this is like my, my fourth time actually trying to record this intro during this countdown. But, but like I said, I'm currently sneezing. So yeah. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys when the showcase starts. Look at that showcase is finally starting. Let's go. This program contains mature content that may. Oh yeah, uh, we're closing chat. They're actually gonna full size this screen. So I do not care for the chat at all. They're starting with Black Ops Six content right away. Let's go. Okay, okay. What we got? What we got here? Also, oh, new trailer. Black Ops 6. Come on, just show the 6, bro. Oh, it's a countdown. What does that mean? What? That going to show us like a date? Oh. Soviet Union is no more. Really? Despite a potential for instability and chaos, these events clearly serve our national interest. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Sector of global conflict. <laughs> Today we celebrate the mystery of American renewal. Something's going on. Something big. I'm a fire salsa. A wicked fire salsa. I figured if I stuck around hell long enough, I'd see the devil. Oops. Gosh, don't you see that? Oh, that's like, like, uh, what the heck am I looking at? Is that zombie? Was that zombies or just like campaign? But it might be better if you do. Hey, it's something you should see. Bro. Hell are we getting into? What? Don't trust anyone. This must be all campaign, right? Oh wait, this is like you broke into a CIA black site. Are you out of your mind? Things got complicated. Are you out of your mind? Bro, things got complicated. Got catch back up. How far behind are we? United States of America. Okay. You just got a first look nice. at the campaign for Call of Duty Black Ops. Okay, cool. It was, so it was for the campaign. Set in the 1990s after the Cold War ends, where the truth isn't what it seems. It's an honor to stand here representing the creative teams at Activision. And please stay tuned after the showcase, where we will take you inside the studios to hear directly from Treyarch and Raven who are working on Call of Duty Black Ops 6. You'll get a 25 minute deep dive into the story and a sneak peek at multiplayer and zombies. It's been 10 Ooh, years zombies. since Call of Duty has been So excited for zombies. It's been even longer since all Call of Duty players got the same game at the same time. Going forward, everyone will experience the game, including the Black Ops 6 beta, the season expansions and the, at the same time at launch yes there are currently over a hundred million people who play call of duty every month huh we hope to grow that really a hundred million every month black Ops six the first call of duty game that will be available in game pass day one so no matter where you choose to play oh. everyone is welcome to experience call of duty black ops six on October 25th. Oh hell yeah, we got I'm a confirmed date. Excited for today's October 25th. Show. I'm excited. I'm standing here thinking about all the passion that has gone in to making this show what it is. It's an honor to share the latest efforts from our partners around the world. 
and from our own creative teams at Activision, Bethesda, Blizzard, and Xbox Game Studios. I'm just curious how long this showcase is going to be. What I believe is some of their best work ever. And now I get to introduce something that is special to me. As someone who has played games for as long as I have, it's amazing that I get to set up this world premiere. So thank you all for joining us and please enjoy the show. Before he became a hero, he was a super weapon of gods and kings. Who is this? What is this? I'm so confused. I still don't know. I still have no idea who this is. I still have no clue what, this, what game this is. Why am I like? Oh. Alright. Maybe I'll put the, this, I guess. Dude, I. I want to use this quality. I have a far behind again. Okay. Ugh. I still don't understand what am I looking at. Doom! Oh my god! 2025! Another a Doom game. I haven't played- I don't think I've played Doom before. I don't- I, I never played the Doom games before. So, maybe I'll try this out. In-game footage, cinematics. Who did you love? Oh, okay, stop lagging please. What did you believe? A zombie type game? Is it like a campaign? This quality is low key making me mad. 1080p in my butt. Yo, why'd she spin like that? This has to be like a story mode game, right? Or is this like a four player co op story mode? Sacrifice we make matters and will 
never be forgotten. This quality is making me mad. What the? Oh, I didn't even see that. That's some ugly motherfucker, dude. They survived oh, that? It's forgotten. Oh. They're dead. They oh. live on. There's multiple dead people here. State of Decay. Three. There's there's two. There's other games of this game? That, that game looked interesting. I am not going to lie. What is this game? Is it like a... When was the last time State of Decay came out? State Decay 2 came out in 2018. 2016 it looks like. No, 2018, yeah. This will take more than you and me. What are you thinking? We need someone to be our eyes and ears in the shadows. Ooh. The detective. Someone to bring a little darkness to the daylight. Dragons. We'll need someone with fire in their blood. Ooh, this looks good. This crew needs a leader. Someone we can count on. Someone that the world can count on. But where are we gonna find her? This looks very interesting so far. Whoa. Dragon Age. I want to see the actual gameplay footage. Where's the gameplay? See, that, that, that's just baiting. That, that, that baited me. I like this so far from what it looked like. But now I want to see gameplay of it. They're going back to back to back, like no time to Jesus. We have received a distress call of unknown origin. Oh, space. There is no record of a star station in this orbit. You got another S Xbox drop it in another space game. Hopefully this time they actually do it well. I'm playing. I didn't play the last one. I wanted to though, but I didn't play it. Oh, is this like a horror, a horror space game? I'm confused. Give me more. Give me more, please. Very still and choose your words carefully. Okay. They will Ooh. determine how long you live. You trespass in the home of House Varun. Your fate will be decided by the great serpent. Can you feel its embrace encircling your heart? Restricting until there is no more you. Only us. Uh. Okay. This looks cool. The space.
Starfield? What? That's a that's a Starfield DLC? I'm from the Trackers Alliance. We have a proposal for you. This looks absolutely insane though. I wish you the best of luck. That looked insane. That actually looked insane, I'm not gonna lie. Vaultathon 76 is sponsored in part by Sugar Bombs Breakfast Cereal. Bombs away. Folks, if you're just joining us, we are coming to you live in the 10th consecutive hour of our Vaultathon 76 drive. We've got operators standing by, and oh, it looks like we've got one. Carrie's on from Skyline Valley. He's sending the whole family to Vault 76. Oh, it's Fallout! All about that. Scott Fallout! Finale. Hell yeah, more Fallout stuff. Right in the heart of Shenandoah. Oh, Shenandoah. I hear you call. Is Fallout 76 DLC? Call now to join Harry. And the over 17 million vault dwellers already on board. And let's keep those numbers climbing. It's got four on the line for maybe I wonder, I wonder if that's like in total amount of people that played this game. Vault 76 is a growing community. Okay. And strong community can weather any storm. Why, just take a look at our Skyline Valley neighbors in Vault 63. Really? The greatest scientific minds are hard at work, cooking up shocking new ways is to Is Fallout 76 even good? I ha- I- I have the disc version for the PlayStation 4, and I just never really played it, because I had a group of friends, we all wanted to play Fallout 76, but we just- We just never got to it, and we heard how bad it was, so we just never did play it. And don't forget to bring home a souvenir or two. When the bombs started dropping, don't come a knocking. Call now to reserve your place in Vault 76. Still not sold? Well, I suppose having skin is not for everyone. Best of luck out there. It just skins? What? See, I would rather you give me a whole new vault of Fallout game. Just give me a, just make a new Fallout game. Make it where it's good. So I, again, I heard Fallout 76 is tr garbage. People were telling me it's not even worth playing that. Just go play Fallout 4. So. We'll see. Look at that, that moon. Soon she'll wait. And paint again. Paint a new number. Ticking down every year. One stroke. What game is this? And everyone of that age vanishes into nothingness. Yo, the Thanos just snap? What the hell? Every year she paints again. And every year an expedition departs for the continent with one hopeless mission. Destroy the Paintress so she can never paint death again. Break the is this the? So I don't want, want to sound dumb. Future. I think this is the like the life of pee. We'll break the cycle, so she can't steal anyone else's future. This world is full of wonders. Yet everywhere we go, we walk with death. Do you mean? I don't know what this is. Whoa. This looks interesting though. This looks very interesting. What game is this though? 
Even if we fail, we lay the trail for those who will come. Yo, she died? Right. Oh, I thought she was dying. We are Expedition 33. Expedition 33. Okay, then what's the life of P? I thought for some reason, I thought it was like the life of P or something. This That game looks very interesting, though. I am... Oh, the Life of Peace PlayStation exclusive. I just looked it up. Don't mind me. <laughs> the Life of Peace is like PlayStation. Oh. Okay. But Expedition 33. That look game looks interesting. It looks fun too, though. I'll be down to play that. My mom's still alive. If your mom's anything like you here, she'll keep fighting till we find her. I hope so. I'm guess Louisiana by you. Hard to believe this is all really happening. You mean to tell me your mama never told you stories about critters and weavers? Oh, you're lucky I come along. What? Shh. Oh, that's too tall, Tom. Big gator. I gotta drop you off fast. After I got you out of that tree, you said you helped me find my mom. I ain't at the disposition to be gator snacks. Well, me neither. If we're gonna go on, we gotta get rid of him. I'm all ears. There's a church up a ways with a big bell. Go on and ring. You wanna make him come running? Tom can't abide the sound of bell. It's a um. church folks once tried to dynamite him. And he didn't take that too kind. I think it's the animation for me. That's not clicking for me. You better not skedaddle. The way it's animated. Oh, now scoot! I'll pick you up yonder after to go find your mom. Trifling ass mudcat. Got oh, oh my gosh! Oh, I see. Oh, we're getting foot game footage. Okay. Gotta move quickly now. The UI looks pretty good. It's like it's simple. Get your help. Wait, that blue island is the gator? Is she gonna kill the gator? Well, oh, hell no. Is this gonna be like a Souls game? Look at like this phase two of the boss. Oh no, okay, or that was just like a regular move. Choose this. Okay. Alright. Time to find that church. Ah, I see. I'm trying to figure out if this is like a Souls type yes. game or what kind of game, what type of game is this? Okay, Spider Man. <laughs> this reminds me of the the wings the Spider uh, Spider Man and what well, Peter and Miles had. Run, girl, run! I like the soundtrack. Ring that bell, girl. Uh oh. Off of midnight 2025 oh yeah for some reason i thought we was in 2023 it's 2025 that looks interesting you know i might get game pass to be honest for the pc cinematics this is cinema. She's 
slumbers and dreams. Your fat ass nose, bro. And for countless generations. Oh, who are you? Oh, who are you? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. What am I looking at? And beasts of primordial horror. Hmm. Though they fought amongst themselves. For some reason this looks familiar. Their enmity but I can't name it for some reason. To the most distant shore. Upon the very threshold of death. While new hope blooms on the horizon, the final battle. I don't know what this is. Like, these characters don't look. They look familiar, but I can't think of the name for some reason. Go, bro. Once again, her eyes got to. Oh my God, her eye and her arm. She went through hell. And Azeroth, at last. Azeroth. Isn't Azeroth something like World of Warcraft related? So long denied me. Shall be. Is World of Warcraft coming to console? The War Within? Is this console? Is World of Warcraft coming to console? Or is it just like a trailer? August 26th. I don't play World of Warcraft, so... Yeah, PC. Alright, I don't, I don't care for that. I don't play World of Warcraft. I, 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 I don't even watch it either. Is this a shooter game or action packed Listen shooter up, game? Jack. Your mission is to infiltrate Selino Yask in the Soviet mountains, ensure the safety of Sokolov, and bring him back to the West. Okay. In game footage. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. Oh! Snake from now on. Okay, Snake! The clock is ticking. This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox unit special. In other words, weapons and equipment to procure on site. What the heck? Food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. I have to find my own weapons and equipment. Whose crazy idea was this anyway? This looks fun. The mission rests entirely in your hands. A real one-man army. I would definitely play this. Speak. Metal Gear Solid. Snake Eater. I will definitely play this game. Commencing virtuous mission now.
I wonder, do you need to play Metal Gear like all the other games to understand what's going on with that game? I've never played Metal Gear before. There's a bunch of Xbox games I've never played before. Like a level, a bunch of games in general. I don't, like, what is this? I don't know what this is. What is this? And how is it that you know all of this? Because I am a god too. You're a god. If you're a god, you're one of them. Why would I do anything to help someone I've sworn to kill? If it's vengeance you want, I'll give it to you. This looks interesting. Let's just say. Hmm. Doesn't look like my cup of tea. It looks interesting though. I'll definitely be watching people. I'll definitely watch gameplay of it. Come on then, fight me and die. Jesus, that height difference is crazy. Lock the siege of dawn July 18th. July 18th, Jesus. I didn't wait. Was that the beta? Did I say anything else? Or was that just July 18th? Oh, we return to you now as the gods of mankind. Zeus. Okay, okay. Rulers of the Greeks and the Norse. The Egyptians and the Atlanteans. We created mankind to fight for our glory. So rise and wield my wrath. <laughs> um okay looks cool Asian mythology retold September 4th bro these dates are like so fast not gonna lie Instinct. 
What is this? What am I looking at? I could see the world differently. I thought it would be like any other mission. I was wrong. Okay, what did she see? Welcome to Garden City. Ooh. 23 degrees all day, every day. 23 degrees? Is that Celsius or Fahrenheit? Because that changes a lot. How far to his last Ooh. known location? This UI is crazy. Also tracking his whereabouts. So futuristic. You need to find him before they do. I'll have to improvise. Generating voice print. Did she just steal his voice? I don't care. <gasps> Excuse me. What readings are you getting? We are getting odd readings from your monitor. Can you confirm? I'm looking at the screen right now. Ooh. I like this. I like, I like. Intel places Carrington on the second floor. <laughs> when the life we think we know. Oh, she got leap. Turns out to she be got alive. she got hops, bro. Oh, is she getting a little little, little long run? Find the truth. Scan's clear. I'm going in blind. Carrington! Damn it! She just fall in a trap. Analyze. What am I looking at here? Carrington appears to be targeting a research facility. If he attacks it, Whoa. Could be okay, problem. this looks fun. This game looks fun. Agent Stark, it's a pleasure to meet you. I could use someone with your skills. Curse off his ass. Oh, guys. She's killing everybody, bro. Did she just shoot through the wall? I had to lose everything before I could see. Oh, she got the moose too. What this world was really hiding. I hope you're ready, Agent Dark. Are you all seeing this? Once you open this door. There's no going back. Perfect Dark. I like this game. I like this game a lot. That game looked good. I will be down to play that. Actually, I'm going to look up right now. Perfect Dark. Agent Joanna Dark is caught in the middle of a near future war over okay. advanced technology that threatens the lives of millions. We hope you enjoyed the first look at gameplay, and we can't wait to share more from the developers at The Initiative and Crystal Dynamics as the game progresses. The creativity and talent of game creators are what make our industry unique, and I'm incredibly proud of our games and our teams. They are building a diverse lineup of titles, which includes new installments in beloved franchises like Doom, the Dark Ages from id Software, updates and expansions to our ongoing games like World of Warcraft, The War Within from Blizzard. I mean, I don't care about World of Warcraft. original concepts like South of Midnight. This compulsion. Games, okay, that game Loki look underrated. Blockbuster games with massive audiences like Call of Duty, Black Ops 6 from Activision. On True. behalf of our creative teams at Activision, Bethesda, Blizzard king and xbox game studios we thank you for your continued support oh, thank you and we look forward to getting their ambitious games in your hands i'm excited for some of these games diablo is one of the most oh and beloved oh series in all oh i play this i do play this diablo 4 in game pass where millions of you made it your favorite way to play this october diablo 4 vessel of hatred expands the demon slaying experience for free? with an all new character class a new region for free and of course for free the next chapter in the acclaimed story here is the opening cinematic for the okay, game okay it's great it's let's take free. a look well let's see i i don't know i actually don't know dlc for, for, for diablo i do play diablo i beat the main story and that's it 
<laughs> I wanted to keep on playing, but I need I don't have a friend group. But yeah, I do actually I did enjoy the game a lot. So let's see. Boy, young one, are you all right? Sick? Oh, you're not well. Please, 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 my child, let me help. Stay away from me. Oh, my God. Is that how I raised you? No, mother. But, but I must carry this burden alone. I must get to Akarat's tomb. But look at you. You're killing yourself. I... I don't know how much longer I can... Shh. I'm here, little magpie. <laughs> I missed you. No, I'm so sad. Much. I'm so proud of you. But now I need you to give up. No, no. Yo, what the hell? Of course it's you. <laughs> you What is that? Bro, what? Okay, this is fire. Maybe you're right. Maybe I could use some help. This looks interesting. This might, this trailer, low key, might make me come back to Diablo, but I don't know. How, I, I'm behind on DLC. I again, I beat the main campaign and that was it. <laughs> That's it. I beat the main campaign and I did like some little boss, those big bosses around. Oh, right, you. So. You want to know all about heroes, dear? What is this? Well, I th wait, I thought the showcase was over. Right place. I thought that was Just like the last thing for the showcase. Better to tell you all about them than perhaps the greatest hero of them all. I don't even know who this yeah. is. There he is, in all his finery. Cheers. <coughs> oh. Okay. I mean, sure, you get your mega fans. You are like literally my favorite person. You haters. Is this just fan club? But we hate you. Is this not like a Starfield trailer? We're dead fans. For some reason. But it's more than that. Okay. Choices you make. Okay, so Starfield. I should do what I want. 
We thought you could save her. You know, it's your life and death stuff. That's what defines you, isn't it? Really, uh, stays with you. I knew this one hero. I took her in when she had nowhere else to go. Welcome to the most exclusive club in all of Albion. Thought I'd get her out there, make the most of her gift. But you know what it's like when you're young and you have a point to prove. I tell you, this kid, she had it all. The skill, the talent, the power. She was something else, all right. She was terrifying. So, yeah, I knew this girl once who made all the wrong choices. Humphrey. She's back. Who's back? Humphrey, who is back? Tell me now, please. I'm going to fix it, this place. And no one is going to stand in my way. That track was hard, I'm not gonna lie. It's a card game. Oh, it's not a card game. I don't, I don't know what this is. It sounds good. I didn't even see the name of it. World premiere. You got another world premiere? There is nothing left for me in the city. So, I have traveled back to where I grew up. Here, I found my childhood home in ruins. taking good care of it the bridge to her house is broken so i can't even ask her i will make the tree stump a cozy home again no matter what it takes and no matter how hard it just say for me fam i will fight and find meaning and beauty Some will say that in the dead of winter, a small city mouse doesn't stand a chance. Maybe so, but I must keep believing that every winter leads to spring. Fancy! Finally! No! Tapes bend others to my will. It's a strange, almost cosmic talent. Oh, uh, go back to a time where summers lasted forever. 
when friendships were unbreakable and any trouble was good trouble. This year, I want to write a flaming stallion of delinquency. Yes! What yes! Name again? From Beethoven and Dinosaur. Beethoven! An adventure, a lifetime in the making. Mm -hmm. Experience the freedom of the teenage wasteland, sneaking out, making out, yo, what the, the and maybe something a little more. Is she a murderer? Hey, can I stand up? Yeah, look Are they high? Go nuts. Set to the soundtrack of a generation. This looks pretty interesting. What are we gonna think of this, ourselves? This is something that you should like you play when you're high, I'm not gonna lie. I just remember to tell myself it felt important at the time. Your greatest memories are stored in music. You're invited okay. to go back in mixtape. Mixtape. There have been noise complaints. Okay. <laughs> Is that it? Mixtape coming in 2025. That looks interesting. I would love to see actual gameplay of that first. Then maybe I'll buy it, but that looks interesting. Xbox Game Studios presents Ozoba and game footage. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Planes! I see planes. The next generation of Microsoft Flight Simulator! <laughs> Commercial flights? Who actually plays Flight Simulator? I'm, like, how big is the community for Flight Simulator? It has to be like a big community, right? For them to do in another game? Let me see. Flight. Simulator. Um. Player cow. Oh my gosh! An hour ago, twenty-four hour peak. This is crazy. They average six thousand players a day over the last thirty months. That's cool. Okay, I don't. Okay, I understand making a new one. I see you, Flight Simulator, I see you. Not for me, though. Answer the call. Nope. Elder Scrolls. It's about the journey. I never played Elder Scrolls before. Is that a cat? <laughs> online how old is Elder Scrolls online oh 
Elder Scrolls Online came out in 2014 and it's still going on. Ten years. G oh my god, ten years? June eighteenth, bruh. It's like nine days. World premiere. I swore I'd never use my power again. But two nights ago. body in the woods I don't know who I can trust or who trusts me but my friend Safi is dead so why can I still hear her voice? Man. So cool. Focusing my power, I somehow shifted into a parallel timeline. Here, Sophie is still alive. The danger stalks are every step. And only I can investigate both realities. Hang on. Parallel world? It's the same as this one, except you're dead. What? I can still save Sophie. If I can solve and prevent the same murder across two timelines. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just say that. Okay. Are you sure you want to investigate this thing? I can't let this go. It could be the best kept secret in history. What are you going to do, Indiana? These artifacts have a deep connection to something in the past. Voss believes they hold a kind of power. A discovery that could change the world. What were you doing out there? Fresh air! <sighs> Indiana Jones, baby. To find the stones, Gina. Why is Indiana Jones so a thing? Will. This IP will never die. If you were to draw a line through these ancient sites around the globe, you'd get a perfectly aligned circle. The Great Circle. Exactly. I intercepted the Morse code coming from the Himalayas. Where Voss is sending the what? Those men. She's cursing me. Is that a battleship? Yep. Let's get a closer look. <laughs> Gotta find the stone and get off this ship. What's that in his hands? What does it say? Earth is something. Huh. What was that? We'd better hide. I think I'm tired of 
Any other jobs? Hands behind your head. This is Indiana Jones, right? Where's the stone, you American rat? What stone? Have you ever heard of Höhenangst? Fear of heights? Yes! <laughs> I endured this dreadful mountain even if my mind was screaming every step of the way. Because of a concept, you narrow-minded Americans will never understand! Yo, why are you talking to me like that, bro? Why are you talking to you like that? Devotion. Total and absolute devotion to the fatherland. You have no purpose. What you have is your stupid American cartoons. Choo-choo! Choo choo! <laughs> you laugh and dance, celebrating your own idiocy and drinking the piss! Choo choo! Choo choo! Through fire for the devoted men of the Reich. Give me that stone. Now! I can't give you what I don't have. He doesn't have the stone? I shall search your corpse to make sure it! Place away. Give me the stone. Where's the stone? Gina. That's a grenade. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, is the whole thing about to fall? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I saw that coming. Again, I'm not gonna lie. I'm think I'm tired of uh, Indiana Jones IP in general. This, this does look. It looks cool and fun. Not gonna lie. <laughs> that soundtrack will always be a banger for me. Don't mind my singing. Coming to 2024. Cool. Play with the game. Play day one with the game pass. All the, is all this stuff on the game pass? There's like so much new stuff on this game pass, bro. It's, it's amazing. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? What is this? I'm interested already. Ooh, colors. A lot of co a lot of colors. What am I looking at? Ooh, that looks so good. This is all in game stuff. How did they do this? Okay, off the bat, PvP. Off the bat is like a, when I say like a, it's not like a twisted metal, but it's just, it's just straight up PvP, bro. This looks pretty cool. You guys give me a little more though. I want to see a little more stuff. Oh, they can fight on, oh, you can fight on foot? What, your actual characters? Oh, so you can fight in the air? As plane or like jets, but you can also fight on foot. Bro, those swords look crazy. 
Mecha Break 2025. Beta coming to August. Ooh, we might try that beta out, boys. We might try that beta out. If we... You never know you are a monster. Oh! Until someone comes to slay you. What am I looking at? This looks the this looks good. Really Already off the backs, this looks fun. But over time, it becomes clear. The gift changes. Yo, they might have a one v one. Slowly consuming every little part of your humanity. And this voice sounds very familiar. Reminds me of May. I think I think her name was May, from uh, the Avatar Zuko's Zuko's girlfriend. That's what it reminds me of. Ooh! Is, is this a Souls game? This looks like a very Souls game. Whoa! I should know. It runs in my blood. Twenty twenty five, bro. There's so many like, bro, it's like souls. How popular is that souls type game, bro? It must be so popular because there's a bunch of them coming out. Okay, we have something new. Pirates. Your emperor has chosen you as our envoy to the living lands. That wild frontier suffers from oh. the dream scourge. Find the root of this terrible plague and put an end to it. He is wrong. The dream scourge is but a symptom of a deeper, more dangerous rot. Go. Tame the chaos that plagues the living lands, so that those who remain standing can shape its future. They both deceive you. There is more wonder in this world than eyes alone can see. You must open yourself to its mysteries. Tend to its purpose, no matter how wild. And become what the living lands truly needs. Protector. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Look, I, I I was intrigued by the pirate ships. I am no longer intrigued. I am just chilling, waiting. I mean, it looks cool and all, but. Eh. Another world premiere. Rebellion. It's an emergency at mid scale atom plant. It's not emergency, but disaster. Now the worst seems to be over. What am I looking at? Why would you even shoot that? Why? Why? That makes no sense to shoot him like that. I have no idea what I am watching currently. Adam, right? Yeah, this is called an Adam. It's 
Adam Fall. Uh, again. That's a whatever game. These games look all look good for you, especially with the game. Ooh, I like this setting already. The settings already is for me. Did the settings for me. Ever tell you why my bones ache in the weather? War. Their soldiers killed everyone. I do not fear our enemy. They talk of peace and dream of war. <laughs> Oh, is this Assassin's Creed? Oh, is this Assassin's Creed? Oh, okay, I'm standing up for this one, boys. This is Assassin's Creed, right? Yeah, it is. We got more Assassin's Creed footage. To be freed of the oppressor's grasp. Ooh, they about to make a bunch of people mad what they just said. Believe me, there are other ways to heal. Yasuke. People so quick to abuse their power do not deserve to keep it. Boom. Ooh. There is much we will learn from each other, Yasuke. Oh my gosh. You can see when two people fit, when they will be better together. Bring justice back to the people. Uh, I didn't like the animations. The animations looked very old. So I wonder if it's. I wonder if that was like old footage. Skifa. Ради тебе бачити, друже. Валимо звідси. Ви тільки погляньте на це. Край, чарівний край, Черемоша і прута. Ти моя любов, Ти рідна матінка моя. Що це? Жива. This looks this looks good. What the hell am I looking at? I don't know what this is. Just mostly this thing. What the? What kind of creature is that? All these dead people. All these deaths. What kind of sense? Zone such as you see. So that's turn. That's a tornado. Я ж показав тобі, якою я її бачу. Іди своїм шляхом, і тоді ти зможеш побачити зону по-своєму. Stalker 2? Heart of Chernobyl? Oh. That, that's interesting, okay. The, the title itself got me interested. There were some parts of that trailer that also got me interested. We've but... been honored to partner with GSC Game World. 
the Ukrainian studio behind Stalker. President of Xbox. We can't wait for you to experience their game yourselves on September 5th. Today, you've seen amazing games from creators around the world, from both our partners and our own studios, from the biggest blockbuster that looks good. to original independent I'm interested games. in it. I hope you enjoy the breadth of titles coming to Xbox. I, I did. There, there was a bunch of titles I liked. Games, we're introducing a new all digital Series X. Oh! Color and storage options. Ooh, the a new X Xbox. Lineup. They'll be coming to select markets this holiday. Oh, these, these are special editions? All consoles, digital. Alongside the many other devices in our Xbox gaming family, offer you more choices. It's our mission to make Xbox the best place for you to play by including the titles from our own studios and Game Pass at launch, by bringing your games into the future with our commitment to game preservation, by pushing the technical boundaries in our future. I don't, and I don't really you like the digital concept because I think I'm also a person that likes disc and, and all that stuff, but this I do understand why they're pushing with digital. The also, and digital is cheaper. On the next generation. All right, sh shout out to you. Ends, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Direct begins. Oh? We're taking you inside Treyarch and Raven for an extended look at what's next oh, in Black it's, Ops. Oh, it's one of those. But it's a before direct. we dive into the Direct, we've saved one more thing. What's, what's last? What's last? What's last? Give it to me. World Give it to me. It was, ooh, this got to be good. This got to be good. This has to be good. This is the, this is the last thing that they save me? What is this? Silver emergency message. Oh, another Gears game. It's the death of Gears. Call it the death of Gears. Oh, oh bro, there's. Oh, oh, I need to know how many Gears of War games are there. Oh, you're so lucky that knife you could be able to pull the knife off. What's happening? happening here I'm interested I am interested whoa what happened to the city I think I, I think I'm, I believe I'm missing a lot of context. What's happening? Gears of War. Okay, what's the title? E Day. Mm -hmm. mm. I wonder if they're gonna die. The way that trailer looked looked like Loki made it look like they was dying. Day one with the game. Oh my god, there's so many day one games. Woo! We got the now we're going to Call of Duty Call of Duty Direct. Let's give us something good. I want to see some good stuff with this Call of Duty Direct, not gonna lie. You gotta show me something good here. Okay. This, so this is the campaign stuff right here. Ugh. Okay, come on. Give me some good stuff with this call with this call duty direct here. Make it quick too. We're we're almost about to hit two hours. Hello and welcome to Triarch in Los Angeles and thanks for joining us today. Or oh, is this we're about to be forty minutes the so they can hit two hours? For Black Ops Six, we really wanted to give ourselves the time to craft something truly great. 
This means cool, we're delivering cool. a new level of polish and innovation across all parts of the game. Okay. I've been working I like here that. for over 20 years, and I can tell you that we have something special on our hands. Yo, Black Ops 6. I know that the team are excited to give you a deep dive. I don't even know this called the Thunder Gun. Oh, it's the Wonder Walk. I don't know why I called it Thunder Gun. the Wonder Walk. Okay. Show me some, show me some gameplay. Oh, there's no way to show gameplay in this, right? You're just gonna talk about them making them the game. We're players to a new but familiar era, the early 90s. 90s. In true signature Black Ops fashion, our story builds on real history, thrusting players into a conspiracy so, where a shadowy force has all the talk about the highest All the rumors about the them US doing 9/11 was wrong, I guess. Branding anyone who resists as traitors and forcing players to go rogue for the first time to fight the very machine that created them. Oh, really? You're going rogue? The team has been meticulously crafting every aspect of this game to deliver the fun and attitude players expect from the Black Ops franchise. Mm-hmm. Ooh, players, of there's gameplay right there. The Black Ops style and provides a playground for the brand new Omni Movement System. A new you movement system! Beyond your limits and move like an action hero. Oh, we'll sneak peek of that oh no, today. oh no, oh no, absolutely back and back yes, and round base zombies is back. Surprises. Let's go with that. Let's step into the mind bending campaign experience we've been crafting with our partners at Raven. Round base zombies is back. I am excited. No turning back now. Every Call of Duty player has a favorite campaign mission. When we set out to make Black Ops 6, we were focused on delivering missions so iconic that they stick in your memory long after. We are bringing that action-packed blockbuster feel to every step of the narrative. We are giving you more variety, more dynamic moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, and more options to finish each mission. Do you do this loud or quiet? The game is packed with unexpected moments of Black Ops mystery. It's okay. a high octane spy thriller where you're never sure who to trust. I'm, I'm locked real. in, guys. If I'm not talking that much, I am very locked in right now. The early 90s. The Soviet Union was crumbling after the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War. The US is the only remaining superpower. The Gulf War was dominating headlines everywhere. And there was a growing mistrust in government reflected everywhere across the music, television, and pop culture of the time. When we talk about the Black Ops timeline, Black Ops 6 comes after the events of the Cold War, but is directly tied to the 1986 flashbacks in Black Ops 2, the aftermath of which has what? left our heroes in dire circumstances. Some you should see. Black Ops 6 blends the rich and gritty history of previous franchise titles with bold new characters, with veteran Frank Woods as our through line in our story. In this new chapter, we see a different side of Woods following his traumatic injury at the hands of Raul Menendez. He's been pulled from the field as he adjusts to a new role within the CIA, often behind a desk or on the other end of a radio. Mm. His protege is Troy Marshall, who's been making a name for himself in the field. Marshall is a reluctant leader driven by a strong moral compass. Marshall and Woods are working with another new face in Black Ops 6, CIA handler Jane Harrow. She's a born leader, fearless and brilliant, and helps manage their relationships within the agency. Woods' ability to operate in the shadows has always been hugely mm. valuable to the CIA, whether they want to admit it or not. Mm. And Marshall has the ability to make tough calls in the field, ones that Harrow trusts him to make. But when an operation goes wrong, Woods and Marshall are suspended, and ultimately suspended. to go rogue. They soon Whoa. realize they have to trust each other to get to the bottom of the Oh, they're just spoiling the campaign for me. Without You're just going to spoil it. <laughs> That's what it sounds like right now. Own team, recruiting two exciting new characters in Felix Newman, a technical genius. Oh, I like that. And Sabati Dima, a mysterious assassin. An assassin? Whoa. With the end of the Cold War, these former enemies have become new allies. And with the sudden return of notorious operative Russell Adler, who'd gone missing for months, a former ally may have become a new enemy. Oh. For the Black Ops single player campaign, we prioritized mission variety and unique experiences. There's some Our footage right there. to offer players a wide variety of mission types, each crafted from the ground up. One moment, you'll be storming a palace. The next, you'll be pulling off a heist at a casino. 
We aim to take players all over the world and immerse them in vastly different I like experiences. This. I like Within this. these missions, I like we want gameplay to unfold in multiple ways, giving players the freedom to navigate through them as they see fit. Where we have different combat styles, we also have conversation opportunities where you can talk, barter, and manipulate your way into different experiences. And we think you'll want to replay levels to see them all. That re oh my god! This person can't control the recoil at all. Okay, that's cool. We are excited to offer a variety of different enemy types in the campaign. The goal was to provide different challenges for the player. So whether they choose to go in guns blazing or take a stealthier approach, I might do. I might do both. Nice and quiet. We've continued to push on what's possible in terms of how our enemy combatants behave. Your enemies will be relentless, constantly seeking to outmaneuver you throughout the levels. But caught off escape routes, push on players' location, and force them to think on their feet. We've created certain missions where we give you a high-level objective and a variety of ways to approach that objective. One mission in particular takes place in a vast desert in Iraq. You and your team are hunting down missile launchers with the SAS. It's one of the largest campaign maps that we've ever created. You'll find that some of our destinations have a startling contrast in look and feel as well. We have a mission that takes place in an opulent casino in southern Europe. It's unlike any past mission in Call of Duty. And what hmm. the player does in this space is totally unexpected. And another one of they our missions the we have set unexpected. in the harsh tundra of northern Russia. We are excited to offer an array of brand new equipment, as well as some favorites from the Black Ops universe. Our the RC car! Tranquilizer trap. RC was fun. Stem, homing knife. That's a, oh oh, oh a throwing knife that with a grenade on it, or it can explode. I'm in, guys. I'm in. I don't know about y'all. Uh, this Call of Duty looks fun. The campaign is grounded within an expanded campaign hub called the Safe House. You might okay. remember we also had that in Black Ops Cold War, but True. this time we wanted to think a little bit more broadly about the environment. We chose to have our team's hub located in a more naturalistic setting. So. It's in an abandoned manor by an ocean cliffside. What's most unique is that it used to be a KGB black site, which was operational during the 50s KGB. and 60s. This brings a lot of intrigue to the safe house and will allow players to explore and discover secrets from the past. The team is also bringing back the evidence board, which is still the centerpiece of the safe house experience, like but this. with brand new upgrades. Players can view the campaign outline, gain deeper insights into missions. Oh, and we can use that. Evidence collected throughout missions. We can actually use it. That's cool. Okay. Okay. The attacker comes in. I'll go. Three, two, one, go. That was sick. Great. I think we got it. That was cool. With okay, Six, show me the new movement. To create a more connected experience that keeps players immersed across every single mode. Ooh, sliding. We've pushed ourselves to every corner to okay, innovate come on. and craft. Whoa! Black Ops experience for our players. You can jump and shoot, but you can movement fall backwards. Is a consistent area of focus and innovation for Call of Duty. Oh and no! With Black Ops Six. Oh we're no! Redefining movement. Oh no! Let's go, oh, dude, dude. Multiplayer is about to be crazy. Any direction. You can sprint backwards? <laughs> no. system we call Omni Movement. Oh my. Okay. This multiplayer is about to be crazy. Seamlessly chain combat maneuvers like slide, dive, and our enhanced supine prone in full 360 degrees range of motion. From the beginning, we started with you can't do this thing. Why? and then realize people actually move that way. What happens if we get rid of that construct? 
and then instantly it opened up like oh if you can sprint in any direction then you can dive in any direction you could slide in any direction which then led to all the on the ground movement and everything else chaining together bro i'm telling you now this multiplayer is about to be sweaty it's really been something that changes how you think and play the game whether it's campaign mp or zombies we truly believe that once you experience omni movement there's no going back bro we also have what we're calling intelligent movement which is a set of features what? that drastically reduces how many buttons or keys you're pressing to okay. perform various movements so you can do like an auto thing right options, and they're broken down Ooh, this ui categories. look at the ui sprint assist mantle assist and crouch assist so this is and each of these settings will allow for fine tuning. I mean, don't we already have that auto mantle? Intelligent movement really started with Oh, we got auto slide. players to focus on what they want to do and not how to do it. We want every player, regardless of skill level or input or experience okay. with Call of Duty, to be able to engage with Omni movement and live out their own action hero fantasy in Black Ops 6. Okay. I'm I'm worried that this multiplayer for this game like is about to be sweaty. Have these great assist settings that can be turned on and off. Things like traction control or assisted braking. And we really love the idea of taking that thinking and applying it to our own movement options. I don't think this is a one size fits all thing. And I encourage players to play around with combos of these settings to really dial in their preferred setup. Okay. Field ED. Hit zones are regions on a character that react when taking damage or dying. In past games, we've only had four regions. For Black Ops 6, we've actually increased Whoa! Nine regions. Nine regions? So now we can determine if that enemy was shot in their left leg or right leg, and then we'll play a bespoke death animation depending on that location that they were hit. Oh, this... Okay, I like this. So world I, they're going this in on this game, bro. Movement and reactions are connected to the world based on their choices. A great example that really shines is a global feature we call corner slicing, where as you round a corner they are go going through a doorway, for this. your weapon's going to dynamically rotate in the direction that you're rounding that corner. And since it's dynamic, it'll it's be auto. a bit more dramatic if you're okay. slowly clearing a room, but won't affect like you at that. all if you're barreling full speed around that same corner. We are constantly oh. looking for opportunities to set the bar with movement and animations and black. I want to see what happens when you shoot them in the head. Like I said, guys. Black Ops 6 multiplayer is about to get sweaty. Take cover. Especially for people that's gonna really like understand how to do the movement super system. Thrilled to show you the best looking characters that we've done. Through our process of photogrammetry, gear was acquired, scanned, and incorporated onto each of our operatives. For our faces, a dynamic real-time analysis of spontaneous performances was captured and processed to make every emotional impactful moment true to actual life. We made sure to have special attention to the cuticles and make sure that they don't look like they're just freshly cut. There's dirt in between their nails and the oils on their palms Ooh, as they're like that. sweaty and running through the situations that they're in. I mean, we, we are getting to the age where our consoles and PCs are a lot stronger. So I do I really appreciate the little details that the thing companies will do. The thing we're most excited do. about is the number of new weapons from the era that we've added, which includes many that are brand new to the franchise. Oh. Sniper. Our heroes are rogue operatives and they operate outside the normal playbook. That means they're procuring gear by any means necessary. And it allowed us to pull a unique mix of weapons. We made sure to deliver dozens of unique attachments for every gun. And this allows a Please don't make attachments a weapon harder. to match any mm -hmm. play style that you can imagine. All while maintaining the feel and tone of the era. Oh my god, that headshot was nasty. In Black Ops 6, we really strive for striking that balance between real and hyper real but we want to ground our effects in realism we find real world reference so that we can match that motion the weight the timing then riff off of that and create that hyper real look that everybody has come to know and love from call of duty i like okay that's dope they put they put like c4 on that the okay, Black give me the HUD. user experience is all about focusing players on what they need, when they need. Whoa. It. And our in-game HUD is no different. From the mini-map to the ammo widget to in-game notifications. Oh, score streaks are on the side. Six HUD combines some of our best designs. Oh, this is the multiplayer section. Experience. 
for the first time in Call of Duty, players the mini map is able back. to change their HUD in dramatic ways to suit their needs. For Ooh, instance, you put it in different you can, put it, you can move it other way for their setup. Or maybe you want your HUD centered so you don't have to look away. Want to play hardcore anywhere or finally put the mini map in the bottom left? Those are options as well. Oh, I like this. This would be Not really good for streamers also. Streamers who have chats. It connects them to the world and helps them feel rewarded for being awesome. As players track that elusive challenge or target their next level unlock, Black Ops 6 delivers an end-to-end -end experience from the lobby into combat and back, where player progress and achievement are celebrated oh, no. in a I saw the attachments. Oh! The lobby, the prestige lobby, oh, the little, the little lobby that looked good. Dude, I gotta do a breakdown on this direct. They're showing a lot of stuff that needs like a separate type of video. Early on in Black Ops 6's development, we set a goal to make leveling and XP matter more than ever. Okay. Looking back through the Call of Duty and Black Ops catalog, there's a lot of love, both internally at Treyarch and that we see in our community, Persist for system. how we used to handle Persist prestige. System. Let's go, Prestige System. Traditional prestige is back. Let's go! Black Ops 6. I like that. We pulled the best of the best there we go. from past Call I'm, of Duty I'm systems. I'm excited. And are going bigger and more rewarding than ever players who reach max player level will have the choice to enter prestige start fresh with relocked gear and go through the leveling journey again black ops 6 will have 10 prestiges each with a valuable set of rewards to earn and equip to peacock your status players who make it through prestige 10 aren't done Instead, they'll graduate into Prestige Master with a thousand additional levels to climb through. Oh, and a classified oh rewards yeah. And cover for anyone dedicated I'm, enough oh, to make it all the way to I'm the excited, end. guys. The full guys. Prestige system is available on day one in Black Ops 6. Mm, it is not locked behind anything where you're going to have to wait. We know how many of our players look forward to multiplayer, and we will be providing a deep dive on it later in the year. For now, here's some insight into our development of Black Ops 6 multiplayer. Our vision since day one has been to craft an approachable and engaging step change of that signature Black Ops multiplayer experience. We focused on supporting three core play styles for launch. Okay. Enforcers are the slayers who like to kill and stay on the move. Recon Ooh, is all about intel and counter intel. Uh, 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 I want to be on the move. Strategists are support players who throw their bodies at objectives for the win or focus on taking out enemy score streaks for the team. All of our weapons, gear, and gadgets in multiplayer have been intentionally designed through that lens of supporting these play styles. And of course, it wouldn't be a Black Ops game if you can't relive those action hero moments in theater mode. Which we're happy to announce is returning with Black theater Ops mode. 6. I'm excited. No, oh my god, dude, dude, and it's about to go crazy with theater that mode. Means you're gonna get some early details on maps. Maps, maps, how many maps? How many, how many, how many? We're happy to announce that we will be launching with 16 all new enemies. We've got 12, 4, 6v6, and 4 strike maps, which can be played as 6v6 or 2v2. 2v2. What do players like? What do we know that they want? So we're back to our classic three lane maps. Three lanes? We've got fast, oh, frenetic experiences. I like this. And we have that balance with more medium size, like better for hardcore pacing to keep the action Bro. flowing, but still have meaningful decisions for the player to make. The maps have their own stories, and we have multiplayer taking place after the campaign, after you finish it. So don't want to get into too many spoilers. Oh, there, so you should play the campaign first. Some of those locations through the multiplayer lens. Okay. We've covered a lot today, but couldn't leave you without giving you just one more thing. Zombies. Give me the zombies. There we go. Here we go. Here we go with the zombies. What is that? What is what am I looking at? Oh my god, zombies, yes. Zombies, yes. Is that what was is that it? No, I need more. I need more. Gobblegum. Gobblegum. We're excited to announce oh, that there will dark be two brand new maps available at launch. Uh, uh, a curated mix of fan favorite features and new elements to discover. Dark Ether For those story new to zombies, it's our unique take. I'm wanting a new storyline. Where every map is packed full of powerful weapons and upgrades, deadly enemies, and tons of secrets to uncover. Okay. The legacy of zombies is incredibly important to Treyarch, and we are so proud of what the mode is bringing to players in Black Ops 6. As you've heard today, the innovations and movement systems will also be coming to zombies. Plus, 
There are many additional zombie specific features, both new and returning. This is going to be a truly Gobble epic gum. return the zombies. Be on the look for more intel coming later this year. I forgot, I, I forgot what the I forgot what the perks are called. AB Mark. I just now, forgot what the perks are called. Now we gave you a little taste of multiplayer here today, so make sure to okay. mark your calendars for our World World reveal? multiplayer reveal event. Okay. Call when? Of Duty Nets when? When? On when? August twenty eighth. August twenty eighth. Make sure to stay tuned for details and watch your favorite streamers get hands on Black Ops six, so you can be prepped and ready to jump into our MP beta and feel Omni movement for yourself. Man, I am so we'll excited be sharing for this so game. So much more about Black Ops six in the coming months, and look forward to seeing your reactions and your feedback from our open beta coming up this fall and into launch. Open and beta it's not just fall? about launch because the team okay. is already focused on delivering a ton of content in the live seasons, which we'll be sharing more about. Am I allowed to talk about Warzone yet? No. Warzone? Warzone's coming to Call of Duty, okay, Black Our Ops 6. Our Black Ops 6 was, and still is, to make something that is the best work we've ever done, and frankly, the most fun to play. Dan, so this game, this game's about to have that, four game modes? All of our game Multiplayer play, campaigns, our zombies, and, and Warzone? Plans, ...and repeatedly asked how something could be better. In some cases, that led us to huge innovations like Omni Movement, where we're now allowing players to move how real people and operators move. In other cases, it led us back to some of our classic systems like Prestige. Then taking that classic system through the ringer and making updates and improvements. Across oh, our man. weapons, gear, operators, I just have the old feeling watching this, the the, visual this visual and Black Ops Direct. Possible. Right, let me, let me turn this down. Guys, I, I legit have this old feeling of watching this PlayStation, uh, the Call of Duty the Direct. That I haven't had a feeling for Call of Duty in such a long time. The fact that we're getting okay, the new movement system is gonna be something that I have to get used to. But zombies, zombies, I'm super excited for the multiplayer because the prestige system. The MP game loop will be improved and better than oh, ever. Man. From movement to shooting to footsteps to engagement systems to death. And last but definitely not least, the triumphant return of round-based zombies. Oh man. There is so much more to share across all three game modes before the game officially launches on October 25th. October 25th is the official release date. On I behalf like that. of the entire team, we can't wait for you to play Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Oh, I'm excited, bro. So excited, bro. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I think X this Xbox game showcase was my favorite showcase of all time. They showed a lot of stuff that I really enjoyed. I can just turn this down. They showed a lot of stuff that I really enjoyed, but they also showed a lot of stuff I think other people will enjoy. World of Warcraft. These other these other games too. The Diablo is a big fan base. Same with the Indiana Jones IP is huge. The Starfield DLC, which I actually looked pretty good, because I I was gonna buy Starfield, but I didn't buy Starfield. But that DLC makes me looking like I might want to buy Starfield and finally play it. Also, the Snake Years of War. You have that game. Oh my yeah. They show a little Assassin's Creed. Uh, the Assassin's Creed thing. I want to make a separate video about because low key made me mad. I, well, not mad in general, but I'm disappointed. I was disappointed the way it looked because the graphics look, did not look the same as what we saw in the other trailer for Assassin's Creed. So I wonder if, if they showed the old trailer. Also, oh, Gears of War E Day? That looked good. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, there's again, Flight Simulator. There's, certain, there's people out there who like Flight Simulator, I guess, and there's other people who don't. It's for them. Oh yeah, perf that perfect game, that looked good. Say the K3 also looked good, I'm not gonna lie. And it looks like it's
Greg is done. Well, uh, I just want to say thank you guys for watch for watching the showcase with me. If you made it to an end, if y'all if, if you made, somehow made it to the end of watching almost a two hour showcase with me, tell me what was your favorite trailer. Tell me which which trailer which game are you excited the most, and which game are you least excited. Now, when I when I mean like least excited, tell me like it's not it's your like. It's the game that you 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 will play, but you're not gonna play first. Cause there's a games out here that are okay. I wanna play this game first, but I'll play this game last. That type of game. But yeah, pre um, again, thanks for watching this video with me. Thanks for <laughs> reacting. Why? I don't know how to. Out I don't. I'm struggling to do an outro for this, but guess what? Um. Uh, peace. Later. <laughs>